My name is Jim Hartsook. I'm the Director of Information Technology for Bartholomew County Government, Columbus, Indiana. Uh, we support 455 end users across 10 facilities. We're tasked with uh, supporting the Sheriff's Department, the Auditor's Office, uh, County Council, Commissioners, among many other offices. We've got about 33 offices that we support throughout the county government. Some of the challenges that Bartholomew County was facing when we decided to implement virtualization was really a, a physical shortfall. We, we didn't have the, the room to expand. We were at three racks and uh, we were actually in the need to, to add more power into the facility. The reason why we chose VMware was we just felt that they were the leader in, in server virtualization. We, when we started tinkering around with virtualization in early 2007, uh, it became pretty obvious to us that VMware was the leader that we wanted to, we wanted to go with. Uh, we, did, we did look at other solutions, um, but we just felt that, that they were you know, heads and tails above everyone else. We run our centralized dispatch on uh, VMware. Uh, we just recently converted our court system onto it. Disaster recovery has kind of always been on, on our minds and uh, I think the more we virtualize, the more it, it kind of w um, was brought to the forefront of, okay, if we put everything in one basket, then if everything goes wrong, how do we, how do we get things back up and operational? And, and that kind of uh, tied in really well with VMware. We just felt like um, virtualizing made a lot of sense for us. We were, we were eliminating at least the physical dependency that we had. We have about 110 different software systems across the 33 offices that we support. And so to keep all of that you know, up and up operational is very difficult in a physical environment. You know, to, to duplicate that effort physically was, was very cost prohibitive for us. And so from, from a DR standpoint, it made a lot of sense for us. Uh, then, I, I, you know, I think everything kind of came to the forefront in Columbus in 2008 when we had the, the flood. And I think it kind of brought DR home to a lot of people. Some of the things that we've been talking about, and you know, I'm convinced that that's why we were able to kind of make some of the investments that we continue to make now and, and actually having a DR site and replicating data uh, between the two facilities. People understand that without that technology, the ability to access that technology, they just can't do their job. We've been able to utilize the virtual desktops to help us recover faster. Um, we had a lightning strike um, just a little while ago at our courthouse that actually took out quite a lot of pieces of equipment. Not very many of our virtual desktops were affected by that. We had one physical uh, device that we had to replace, but uh, thankfully, most of those offices, we had moved to virtual desktop, so recovery was, was pretty instantaneous. I think also for our DR strategy, um, we, we will continue to deploy uh, thin clients um, throughout, the, throughout the county network that if something like that happens again, where, where you know, it knocks out the electricity or the heating and cooling, that, we can relocate that office to another facility. It's not going to be ideal for them, but it's going to give them a, the ability to continue on their work if, if that's something that's necessary for them to do.